It's your boy, I'm Stank here, back with another LEGO Jurassic World stream. Of course, today, last time... My mic unplugged, but as you remember last time, we completed all of G Jurassic Park. We completed 1 through 3, the first stream, and the second stream. Uh, last week, we completed 4 through 5, so of course, that's all Jurassic Park done. And we're gonna move into uh, Jurassic Park The Lost World today. Before we do that, I'm gonna check my audio and I will be right back. My uh, friends, give me one second of my time. We are sounding good. I'm gonna refresh my stream over here on my uh, Chromebook over here, my computer. I wanna see everything good and fine. And we're gonna go ahead and load on into the game like usual. Of course, we'll click our save file here. And it's gonna load for a minute. We're at 11.5% completed with the game. And let's roll. Of course, guys, if you remember, um, or if you would like to, if you're watching this video as a video or whatever, put down in the comment section below uh, what you would like to see next after we complete this game. If you would like to see another LEGO game, or would you like to go back to Hobbit, LEGO Hobbit, and do either the 100% walkthrough or LBA. I think next I might go back to Hobbit and do some LBA. I think that might be what we do next. Not all of it, but maybe like a couple parts of LBA we'll be 100% walkthrough, and then after we complete that 100% uh, walkthrough, when we complete some of the 100% walkthrough, we'll come back to another LEGO game. So let's go ahead and go to Jurassic Park The Lost World, to move on to the second movie of the series, where we go to Isla Sorna. Of course, this will be the second movie of the four, which we have Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park The Lost World, or Jurassic Park 2, Jurassic Park 3, and Jurassic World. Well, Dr. Malcolm, here to share a few campfire stories with my uncle. I was there, I know what happened, and so do you. Ingen is my responsibility now, Doctor, and I will jealously defend its interests. Okay. Oh. You were right and I was wrong there. Did you ever expect to hear me say such a thing? Isla Nubla was just a showroom, something for the tourists. Site B was the factory floor. That was on Ina Sauna. Oh. A few weeks ago, a British family on a yacht cruise stumbled across the island. The boarders used the incident to take control of Injun from me. That's messed up. Okay, so there's another island with dinosaurs, no fences this time, and you want to send people in. I need a complete photo record of those animals. You didn't contact Sarah. She'll be fine. And believe me, the research team wasn't a research expedition anymore. It's a rescue operation, and it's leaving right now. Uh oh. All right. My Sarah. You can't shave three days off my deadline. Expect everything to be ready. I'm not fully supplied. Well, you better be soon. I haven't field tested any of this stuff. All right, people. Seems we're going so. nowhere until we get these vehicles fixed up. Alright, of course, we are introduced to a new character here, we have Eddie Carr, and of course, if you remember, we now have Ian, we also have Ian Malcolm from the first movie, but he is Isla Sorno version, and I'll be honest with you guys, I've been re-watching, I've actually been watching the uh, Lego Hobbit series that I posted, if you guys haven't seen that, I would recommend you go watch it, and honestly, I just noticed how fun it is for me to, like, play Lego games, it's just... Honestly, it's fun. I love doing it. Like, I've been recently on the verge of 100%ing every LEGO game that I have on the PS4 at least, and then probably go to the PS3 somehow, which I don't know how I can get that content out for y'all if I do PS3. But I will at some point be trying to do that. 
I can. If not, I might have to go to the uh, Xbox One. And I'll just have to stream on Twitch and stream some Lego games from there. If that makes any sense. Can y'all give it a try? Yeah, we're gonna smash and bash everything up because that is our normal objective is to smash calls. and bash because we have two objectives when playing any Lego game for the first time. What are those objectives, you may ask? Well, of course, objective number one, complete the level. And objective number two would be to get the uh, true, uh, whatever the stud goal would be, which in this case, we have true survivor. Or is it True Survivor or Master Survivor? I think it's True Survivor. Which in Lego Hobbit, if you remember, it was Master Begale. But it seems like we have some stuff we can do here. Can I jump up there and get those studs? That would be nice. I maybe... There we go. Just wanted to grab those studs if I could. Alright, so... Uh, academic characters such as Ian Malcolm can solve complex equations. So, of course, we can activate this. We got the bottom left, top right, top left, bottom right. Oh, we go boom, 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 boom. Puzzle down. Alright, so let's get into some bits and pieces we can, of course, build here. But yeah, in the comments, let me know what you want to see next. We want to see Hobbit, LBA, or Hobbit LBA. Uh, which is Lego Brick Adventures, basically where you go around the world and, you know, do whatever and explore. Hobbit 100% walkthrough, which I don't know if we can do because I think we need certain characters from the LBA. And then there's, of course, the, um, this next Lego game, which I don't quite know what I want to do yet. Okay, so we got yellow, then we would want blue, right? Because that would make green. And then we can press down this, and that will help him with the spray cage. Oh, we have three people watching. Okay. Or two people, technically, because one's me. Oh, then we lost one. But hello, anyone who's there. Welcome to the stream. If you are, I guess, somewhat enjoying. Oh, leave a like. Okay. Everyone is gone. Alright. So that's one of the cars. We, of course, have three we need to do with the objective up there. Now, Eddie here has a rifle. We should be able to shoot these tires down. So we can press uh, triangle to ride on these Lego tires. Of course, we we'll smash and bash all these useless tires here. Maybe. Maybe I can help you out there. I'm trying to get the tires, not you. Oh. Where, why are we skyrocketing people right now? That's pretty good. Something like that. Uh, hello, anyone in stream? If you like the chat, please go ahead. Seems like we have a mechanism we could use right here. We can use a little crank here. And we can twist it. That's gonna give us our first mini kit of the level. And of course, our first mini kit of the second movie, which is Jurassic Park The Lost World. Of course, this tire is going to go somewhere over here, I'm assuming. Alright, and we're going to need to go get I, I the other tire. The here, guys. All right. I'm assuming we can grab this tire. Of course, we can't build any of the dinosaur bone stuff because none of the characters we have uh, can build those. The only character we know so far that can build those is Alan Grant. But she's, of course, not with us. And now we only have Eddie Carr and Ian Malcolm. Let's go ahead and press those tires in. Get a splinter! From Coop. rubber? Coop. <sighs> Just get in the car. Hey, yeah, how do you get a sp can you get a splinter from rubble? Oh, rubber? Is that possible? Oops. It's possible, I kinda wanna figure out. Okay, well, then we should have this one to fix up over here. Which of course, only engineers carrying a wrench, such as Eddie, can repair broken Lego objects. So now we have someone that can repair these. These like blue the broken Lego yeah, objects. Hey, hey, hey. Like Alright, nice. So that should be the three cars down that we need to uh, fix. And it looks like now we have a van. Da -da 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 -da. Go look where you're driving. Thanks for the two minute warning, Eddie. Nick Van Owen, this is Ian Malcolm. Nick's our field photographer. Ian is our... Okay. Ian. I agree. 
the Ennis Arena. So now we unlock Nick Van Owen to the squad. Which of course he seems to be necessity wise. Seems pretty simple. Alright, so oh, now we have one of these. A sturdy object like a crowbar, such as the one carried by Nick Van Owen, could be used to force open Lego doors by pressing O. I think we I think we saw some of these in Lego Jurassic uh we saw these in Jurassic Park. But now we can actually use Nick Van Owen. We're able to spam this button here, and we are able to pry open these doors. you'll have to fix it later. So that's a pretty cool thing we can do now. It's no use. That engine ain't budging. Well, we'll make it budge. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe you had. Maybe you shouldn't have. Maybe your job would be just a little easier if you hadn't taken that hole. Alright, looks like more dinosaur bones, which Nick Van Owen still can't do that either. The only character we know is Alan Grant, like I said earlier. But we will, of course, smash and bash everything we can, because that is the way of the game. You want as many studs as possible for, for getting characters and stuff like that in the LBA. That is a main goal, of course. Alright, so now we have another one of these, which only characters carrying a, uh, what do you call these, pliers? I think they're called, such as Nick, can snip a scary lock, I think, and press O, or circle, when the arrow is in position to make a cut. I think we saw some of these in Jurassic Park as well. Of course, you want to hit it right in that middle bit, where it's like light blue instead of dark blue. And that's where you're going to be able to cut through those. Now we're going to need Eddie, so he can fix this up. Of course. Seeing people keep coming in the stream and leaving, so if you are coming in the stream, please say hello. I would really appreciate it. Drop a like, uh, chat, say something you would like to say. Alright, so it seems we can shoot these down here. Hey, you Give ever us some heard pieces, of maybe. Sheesh. Then we can build a little switch, it seems. Whoa, I never would have thought to do that. Well, that's why you're not so intelligent. Keep pushing. Push this. We're also trying to get as many stuff as possible for our true survivor goal. I think it's true survivor. We can push this like engine, I guess, all the way across here. Okay, okay, stop. She's home. Thanks. This is a nice. high, high hide. You know, you go up and you hide. Hi. Sounds Actually, simple enough. A very convenient fighting thing. Yep. Maybe. All right, everybody on. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the button. So now we can head to the second floor here. It seems somewhat of the second floor. Well, of course, smash and bash everything. Kind of what it's done like a if you don't smash and bash. Of course, we can't use that. That's going to be used by other characters down the line. Can't quite use that, uh, like the electrical thing up there. That thingy right there. Uh, thing right here. I'm aiming at right there. We can't quite do anything with that. But we can uh, break all this stuff. And then we can use Nick Van Owen to open or pry open this. And we get our second mini kit of the level. And then we can use a crowbar. Pry this open. Alright. Now we can head on down here. Someone meant to be putting a roof on the mobile lab? Or uh, maybe. It meant to be an open top. You know, it might rain on the island. At the very least, we True. should consider making it a convertible. <laughs> yeah, at least consider making it a convertible. Once again, we don't have a character that can access the map. We'll just keep moving. As our stud bar is not even halfway yet. We're getting close, but we're not quite to the halfway point. There's more dinosaur bones there. A lot of good studs. Anything behind the transports here. The blue stud back there. That's a pretty awesome sauce. Smash and smash. Oh my god, why is there so many people coming in the stream? Yeesh. Again, if you are here and you would like to chat, please. I am open to chat. Playing some Lego Jurassic World, of course. Go 
ahead and build this up. I'm assuming we need to get up there and then have Eddie fix that. I'm assuming. Alright, Eddie, if you can assist us up here in repairing this crane, I think it is. Like the crane. And we can, of course, use the crane here. I'm assuming we want to pick this up, put the roof on the transport. Pick up this, and then we'll bring it up, and then we can move it on over here towards the transport. Alright, nice. Yeah, yeah, that's better. The transports look like they might be ready to go now. Oh, <laughs> you found it. What took you so long? I couldn't get a cab. That's okay. Uh, now, listen, I gotta tell you, uh, something. I gotta talk to you. Where are you going anyway? It's only for a few days, but I wouldn't be going if it wasn't, if it wasn't, uh, really Dr. important. Malcolm. Eddie. That, a lot of things be going on here. Forklift broke. Pig in a box. This is so cool. That might not help her suspicion. Alright, seems like we're moving towards Isla Sorna. I guess we're gonna go find Sarah. Is that what we're looking for? Sarah and I guess to get some photos of these dinosaurs. Assuming that those were the tasks that we were that Built by a location John. sensor into Dr. Hardy's satellite phone, so we should be getting a reading. You know, my nose is Ugh. 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 Sorry. My nose is like really itchy today. Alright, so we got a save point here. Let's go ahead and save up. And then we'll be able to continue our journey, of course. Go ahead and refresh stream. Because I don't know if these chats will be coming in or not. Because people could be chatting for all I know, and I just haven't seen it. So I'll go ahead and refresh the stream. And then I'll continue on. Of course, we got a little Can thing here, assistant? so we gotta press uh, square to defend yourself against copies. Which copies, if you don't know, are these little uh, green dinosaurs here. Of course, we're gonna smash and bash everything around us first before we head over this river and fight the copies. Gonna smash them all up. Not too hard. Seems like we've got something over here for us to shoot. So we need to shoot three of those, so we've only shot one. So I'm assuming that we don't have anyone who can do that. So no, Ian can't, and Eddie can't, and Nick can't. So of course we'll go ahead and get our crowbar and pry open this rock, if that makes any sense. And let's see, so use a flare, such as the one carried by uh, Nick Van Owen. Or not Nick Van Owen. Why, what, what did I say? Uh, Ian Malcolm to eliminate dark areas. That's what I was trying to say. And I just went to Nick Van Owen because that's who I'm playing as. Seems we are looking for Sarah, indeed. Beat up those copies. This mushroom is very bouncy. Alright, so of course we're going to need to find a way for our lovely companions to get across as we have or crossed a little bit over the uh, true survivor stud goal that of course is the second goal that we always work for in the story we're getting true survivor or whatever the stud goal would be and of course completing the level would always be the first and main task all right so there's an anvil I guess it's going to leave a rope there for them to climb up. I'm going to get those studs real quickly. Because I need a lot of those studs later on in the game. And of course we want to get the stud goal. 
Let's collect all of these studs. Hold on, let me just smash bash everything else here, Eddie. Before you try to jump up there. Okay, we don't have a character to smash that. So if Eddie will jump there, then Nick Van Owen oh, here can, of course, cross up here, it seems. Oh, I fell down. Probably shouldn't have jumped, but I like to take it fast. I don't, I don't like to take it very slow. Okay. So I can drop this down. Slider. Collect those studs, of course. And I remember seeing, yep, a little blue stud up here. Let's grab that real quick. Oh, sounds like there is a dinosaur nearby. I agree. Could be something big. Well, it could be something small, we just don't know. Of course, we can't dive in the pool. So we can't beat up these copies. Seem to be coming out of that tunnel right there. Oh, they are. But whoops. Right, let's try to... Oh, we have died to a copy. Something I never thought I would say. Let's build this if we can, because it's going to block off the copies from exiting. These guys. Nice. Now there's be no more compies coming in. Grab that heart. All right. So Eddie can shoot this thing and this thing. Let's do out of those, and then of course that's gonna drop some studs, and other things gonna drop some uh, stuff we can use to build here. All right. Let's grab all these studs. It looks like we need to break these tree limbs or roots or whatever. Keep jumping here, we break those, and then, of course, Eddie can track this, which is one of his abilities he can do. He can track all these around, a lot of people come in. We're on this island. Sorry. I know it's itchy, so I just ended up covering my mouth there. Like, it's like, it's like my nose, but it's like, under my nose is itchy. Does that make any sense? Jump up here. We'll slide across there so we can get another character such as Ian to help pull that down, I guess. Not too shabby. Go ahead and jump up top. Smash and bash everything we see. Can't okay, smash and bash these tree bits there, but smash and bash everything else. You know what that dinosaur is? Leave it down in the chat if you know what that dinosaur is. Or if you're watching us a video, yeah, yeah. Ooh, of course you can leave wow. it in the comments That's what that dinosaur stars. is. But then later there's running and, and screaming. I hope the audio is good because I tried to lower the um I guess I tried to lower the uh, game audio a little bit so you'd be able to hear my voice. Because I noticed when I was uh while re watching the Hobbit series that the audio kind of empowered or overpowered my voice. So I tried to turn down the audio for this a little bit so that you could hear me. But you could also hear the game when they're talking and things. You just don't quite want the audio to overpower me, like the music and everything. I don't want all that to overpower me trying to talk to y'all guys because it's one of my favorite things to do. And we are very close to the stud goal now, I'm assuming. It's probably like 75,000, I'm assuming. There's a lot of poop on this level. Which, of course, we don't have anyone to dive in. The only person I think you know who could dive in was uh, Ellie Zattler. Jurassic Park. Uh, first Jurassic Park. There's our true survivor rank. We're trying to get, so we got the second objective done. Of course, our first objective now would be to complete the level. And we need Eddie to shoot down this. Now we'll give us our third mini kit of the level. And a lot of people coming in today. Nobody's on the chat scene. We don't have anybody with a shovel. Nick, can you pry this open, my sir? Crowbar, you maybe be able to pry this open. Ten people? Eleven people? Jeez. Alright, so if we click this, uh, camera spots allow photographers such as Nick, man, I want to start on for by pressing, uh, circle. Or, oh, whatever you want to describe that as. Okay. So let's take some pictures of these dinosaurs. Images are incredible, legendary. So again, if you know what the name of the dinosaurs are, leave them in the chat or the comments. Oh, there's a hey person Nick! there. Oh. Ian, I 
I never thought in a million years how I'm gonna get you to come here. Hey, Eddie. Hi, Sarah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Place like I tried to have a relationship. Just by. Did you see him? It's a family group. If I can just get a shot of the nest. I'll be right back. Sarah, no, no. Oh, excuse me. God, I didn't mean to do that right in front of you guys. If you guys leave, I know why. Uh, seems like Sarah wants to get Stay some there. pictures, I guess. Sarah. Sarah. She's much too close. Well. Sure, I think we'll go fine here. Get a little snaps. Uh oh. Sarah! Looks like Nick has jumped in to help. It looks like we're with Nick Fano, and of course now we have a new character here. We have Sarah. Sarah Harding. Of course, Stegosaur here, aka if you don't know already, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. The Stegosaurus. That is what has been this dinosaur. Seems to be crushing some stuff, give us some studs, so. That's not too bad. It's helping us out here. Of course, we have more dinosaur bone stuff, which Sarah can't build either. It's getting really exciting. If you could smash things, I would appreciate it. Okay, Stegosaurus has officially put us. Stego. Sarah, could you smash this up? Smash up this rock? Rock here. Okay, so there's one out of three of those. Let's try to get this one next, maybe. Would you like to smash this up? Right. Okay. Well, I can't quite get it. I'm not standing over there. Okay, I need you to smash this. Right here. Right here, homeboy. Smash it up. Come on. Stop walking and smash it up. Maybe if I stand on it. Be able to smash it easier. Trample the poor Nick there. We'll smash it. What? Smash it. It's right there. <laughs> How is that hard to smash? Right here. There we go. Like, is that really that hard to smash? <laughs> right, smash and bash everything else that we can smash. Of course. Alright, seems like we can build. Some kind of uh, thing here for us to hop into. Which of course, try to get everything else done if we can before we hop into that. Want to grab as many stuff as possible. Of course, like so, when we go to LPA and buying characters and all that sort of stuff. Sir, would you like to hit over here, please? If you would please stop moving and hit right here. Right here. Okay, so we got the amber for the level just for doing that. That's pretty cool. Destroying three of those things. You could destroy there. You were able to get the amber. So now we're of course gonna go, I guess, do what we need to do for the story, which I'm assuming would be to hurdle up in here. Let's get in this log here. And I'm assuming he's gonna smash his tail. Something like that. Alright, so he's gonna smash his tail. We're gonna quickly get out. And we're gonna take a picture. Alright, so we stunned it. And that seems to do damage, it looks like. Okay. So, doesn't look like we can do anything else right now. I guess we just need to avoid. Alright, that might help there. Might need to build another log. Excuse me. Alright, that's a lot of studs there. Give me that blue stud, please. Thank you. Alright. Let me go ahead and crawl on in here. Now, Stego, would you like to calmly uh, spank your tail against us? Alright, quickly get out. Okay. Let's go take a picture. Oh. Alright, so there's another uh, heart down. Looks like we just have one more heart to go. Be nice if Eddie would shoot that thing, shoot this thing with a trank or something if he had one. He'll spill this up. Quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get inside. Come on, Stego, would you please spank your tail against the wood again? Alright, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, let's go. Hopefully take this boss down. Get a boss in the first level of the Lost World. Alright, nice. Fire! Fire at base camp! Uh oh. No, water makes smoke billow. Use dirt. Who started a fire? I just wanted to make dinner. Wanted ready when you guys oh. got back. Kelly, Boy. Kelly, you have no what idea. To lock her up What's curiosity. You really came Eddie? all that way. Uh -huh. really? uh. they got I don't get it. It's his engine on the on the side of that chopper. I don't get that. Why why would Hammond send two teams? I don't know. Alright, Easel Sworn to level complete. Free play is of course unlocked. We get uh, those studs added to our total. Leaving us at a round total of 655,160. We did get the true survivor rank, of course. So that is excellent. We got like three or four mini kits. We got three. That's not too bad. Of course, we unlock Eddie Carr. We get Ian Malcolm Isla Sorna. And Nick Van Owen. And also, we unlock Sarah Harding. And we get Carlos, which is available to purchase, along with John Hammond from the Lost World. So, that's some pretty cool character unlocks. Also, we get the Isla Sorna Gatherer. And the Isla Sorna Observer. And the Van Owen. It's an interesting name. Of course, more vehicles unlocked. And we did get the Amber, which unlocks us the Stegosaurus. Pretty nice. 13 people in here. And nobody's chatted. I'm starting to think these are probably bots. Of course, we get True Survivor. And level complete, so that gives us 12 brick, gold bricks. And now, we continue the story as that concludes level number one. And of course, we're doing the first three levels today, and then next week will be the last two. So that's the first level completed, of course. So let's continue to follow the stud trail, of course. We want to save these map points here for the LBA, the Lego Brick Adventures. Basically where you explore the open hub worlds. So let's just continue on with the story here. We need to follow the ghostly guide studs. Alright, seems like we might need to smash bash some things to get across here, maybe? I don't quite see anything that can help us right now. Okay, yeah, I do. So it looks like we need to go up here, I'm assuming. Alright, so we're gonna need Nick to pry this. So Nick Van Owen is coming up, everyone's coming up. So let's go ahead and pry this open with our crowbar. I'm gonna pry that down, I guess, because Rock's gonna come tumbling down. Grab these couple of studs if we can. Any studs matter. Alright, so let's go ahead and build this. It's gonna be some nice things we can jump across on. Let's just on the water. Not too bad. Alright, so the next task looks like we might need Eddie and his rifle. So Eddie, if you could please shoot this down. Shoot it, please. Alright, so it looks like we're now able to swing across the spine. It's the next area. And of course, we need a character who can dive in Pope, which I think, if I'm not wrong, yep, Sarah can dive in the poop here. Which that means we got another character to do that. So now we got Ellie Sadler and Sarah Harding, who can dive in the poop to get stuff. Of course, we'll build this up here. Looks like it might be a little trampoline. A bouncy thing. It looks like we're on to the next level. Here's another fascinating Engine arrival. Alright. 
Mr. DNA wants us to read this, so, 4th century, Comsonicus, I don't know how to say that. Oh, I wasn't able to read it all. This is as good a place as any for base camp. This is a game trail, Mr. Ludlow. If you want me to run your little camping trip, I'm in charge. Okay. Okay! Dieter, get into the outrigger, you're closing in on her. The one with the big red horn, the Pompadour! Got one. Maybe another person down, but those are some major league toys. Simply put, InGen is seeking reference. limited partners to defray some of our expansion costs. You don't bring people halfway around the world to visit a zoo. You bring the zoo to them. Mr. Hammond knew this before he ever dreamt of an island. He began construction on an amphitheater. San Diego is the perfect site. It could be completed and ready to receive visitors in less than a month. We're taking these animals out of here. They're back to the mainland. Uh, I think I should tell you guys. Hammond told me these people might show up. He did send a backup plan. What backup plan? Me? No. All right. Camp Sabotage. So it looks like we've got Nick Van Owen and Sarah Harding for this mission. So let's go ahead and do our usual. Smashing. And bashing. What sedative did you shoot it with? I thought it was a stegosaurus. My depth perception is terrible. Oh, well. I wouldn't disagree. I mean, you did shoot one of your own men. If that was you who was shooting. Somebody shot their own men like five different times. Smashing and bashing, of course. Favorite thing to do in any Lego game. Yeah, for play. Alright. Oh, I don't think we can use this, of course, because we don't have such characters such as Joffrey Brown or anyone who has that shocking stick. Who are you? They can't be here. Get them! All right. And we gotta fight Ingen. We're gonna free these dinosaurs so they don't take them to San Diego and create a whole another site like John Hammond tried to do. Because we want the dinosaurs to be free, right? We don't want them to be trapped. Because that could be either a good thing. I guess if they're trapped, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Either you get them all break free and everyone dies. That's a bad thing. Or they stay in their cages and then you have a good attraction. And then you're also hurting the dinosaurs a little bit. Which the main point would be to not have it. Have an island like Isla Sorna where they are free. They don't have to worry about anything. Alright, so it seems like we can free this uh, dinosaur right here. Oh, he doesn't look so good. Maybe we should uh, do something. All right, it looks like we might need to uh, potentially help this guy. Sarah, can you dig on in here? If you don't mind, of course. All right. So it looks like we need ice cream, hey, maybe blueberry, a banana, and a mushroom. Someone's oh. let the Pachycephalosaurus out. Well, there's a dinosaur name. Seems we got more InGen guys to fight here. Can I smash this guy down. We'll see if we can maybe hop up here, maybe. There we go. Seems like we might be able to build ourselves our first mini kit of this level. Which is not too bad. Of course, we need a ice cream, which looks like blueberry, a banana, and a mushroom. So let's keep our eyes out for any of that as we go across here. We got more engine. Coming to fight us here. I need to calm down. Keep taking out Nick, poor Nick over there. And they took down me. That doesn't really help. How do we stop engine from coming? Well, I guess we gotta put a stop to their evil ways, I guess. Nick, there's a man attacking you and you're just walking. You're like walking towards me, like, yeah, you go you go do that. Maybe you try to handle yourself next time, Nick. 
Alright, seems like we've smashed almost everything out here we can smash. I guess we'll head inside the compound. I'm assuming that's what this is, like a compound. Where they can trap the dinosaurs, of course, and then transport them from the compound here to the mainland, or the, I guess San Diego to create their park, or whatever. I'm gonna try to create, I guess, Jurassic Park version 2. Which I don't know if that's quite a good idea, but I guess I can't really say anything. Alright, Sarah, you can dive on in. See what maybe we can find in here. Alright, so it seems like we found the ice cream. I don't know if it would taste so good that it's been in a little bit of a pile of poop. Maybe this was your own poop, I don't know. Alright, here we go. Now we need a banana and a mushroom. So I guess we'll go search around for a banana and a mushroom. Come around the compound here. These guys aren't very hostile. Oh, never mind. I gotta say, these guys don't seem very hostile. But they do seem kind of hostile now. Alright. We got some buggy. What do, you, what do you call these things? Like, uh, four wheelers? Are they four wheelers? I wish you technify as a four wheeler. Looking like at another one of these, uh, things you need a shock here. Of course, we don't have the necessities for that. Alright, so, uh, crackly go objects can only be smashed by a dinosaur charge. Hold, uh, a uh, square to make a dinosaur charge. So I'm assuming that's what we would need the Pachycephalosaurus for. Kind of help us out here. Let's go ahead and do this here. And then we can do something with this crank, I'm assuming. And twist it. It's going to put out that fire and drop us a nice little mushroom. Now, can I jump on one of these? Cool, and then we can ride this on down to the packy. Just so it's a little bit faster, we don't have to wait so long. Alright, not too bad, so let's go back up. And now we have to search for a banana. Am I, am I stuck? Can I go backwards? There we go. Let's say, can I go backwards? Let's take our little ATV, rain rover, <laughs> four wheeler here. Okay, so it looks like we might need Nick to pry whatever this is open. This little box here. Not very little, it's kind of big to an extent. So it's got some stuff in it, along with the banana that we are looking for. So now we'll take the uh, ATV, I think, is what the real world, real word is for this thing. We'll ride back on town. And we will give the Packy the banana, and hopefully he'll feel better, and he will help us being able to smash that wall. Good Packy. Alright. It looks like now we can play as the Packy Cephalosaurus, which is pretty cool. And we can hold down the square to charge, which will help us run faster as well. We got some engine goons. Dispatch them very fast. Knock down that wall to see what could have been some explosives there. Collect all the studs, of course. And see what we got for our engine doom that's coming to attack. Hmm, can we destroy this box now? No, we can't destroy the engine box. Okay. So, this you need is a Lophosaurus for which I believe we have. But of course, we're in story mode, so we can't quite do anything with it right now. Alrighty. Smash bash everything. We need as many studs as possible here. We don't have any characters who can do this. We need someone with a, like, mud pad there. Which I believe all of them are in Jurassic World. Maggie, would you please knock down this wall? And now we can switch over and build what I would assume to be some kind of like staircase thing. Collect all these studs. I don't think the Packy can unfortunately come out here. So we'll uh -oh. say goodbye to the Packy. Oh, get him Packy, get him! Alright, well, we'll say goodbye to the Pack Cephalosaurus, but he'll go deal with some engine guards, I guess. While we come up here and try to free some dinosaurs. There shouldn't be anyone else on the island! 
Capture them! Well, we are on the island, and we were technically here before you, which means anything of the right. If we wanted to take the dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure the right of the dinosaurs would be to us. So it looks like we are a little bit over half on the stun goal now, so that's pretty cool. Or we are halfway. So let's keep smashing and bashing everything in sight. So we want to get as many stuns as possible. So yeah, we got another thing for the Dilophosaurus here. Almost have 45,000 studs. And we've been streaming for 45 minutes, so that's pretty cool. Oh, just kind of touched the mic. Didn't mean to do that. Let me lift the mic more. So let's go around smashing and bashing everything first. Just so we don't miss anything. We accidentally do something with story wise because we want as many studs as possible. Even when we get that true survivor, we're still going to want to farm studs because, of course, we're going to want to farm as many studs for the LVA stuff. We're buying red bricks. I uh, don't think you buy gold bricks Let me in this tell game. You about some of the attractions we have in uh, store for the box. Uh, red bricks, characters, vehicles, all For sorts start, of other we'll things. Have a so, of course, those particular that dinosaurs hatch. have a habit of headbutting anything that moves. But the same is true of goats, and everyone seems okay with that. Uh huh. But yeah, of course, we'll need many stuff for LBA stuff like red bricks, characters, vehicles, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Which we'll work on after we complete Another all four movies and story. Thanks to their long necks. And as their herbivores, they're all right. extremely well, maybe I can put that fire out somehow. We think we lose one, perhaps two in every thousand, which is well within our safety margin. Dang. Two in every thousand? That should not be well within your safety margin. It should be zero out of all of them. Would be the Triceratops ring top. A variant of the fairground mainstay, with the added difficulty of the competitors having to get the hoops of removing target. Doesn't seem like we can do anything that there. Will bring in quite the pretty penny. Well, maybe it will bring in the pretty penny, but we're gonna have to stop you. Because, of course, these dinosaurs deserve to be free. And not trapped like on Jurassic Park. Because you see what happened there. Of course, we don't have a shock stick. So we can't quite shack that thing up. Grab as many studs as possible. We got some behind. There's another Dolph Source thing, but we can't quite access. It'll be come back for the 100% walkthrough. Which I'm hoping when I do the 100% walkthroughs for the games, I'm able to actually find the mini kids that we found in the story. So that I'm able to kind of show you guys where everything is and not just that. And if I can't find them, I will simply probably say something on the lines of check the walkthrough for that level. And you'll most likely find what you're looking for. Alright, so let's pull this down here. So I'm going to release this Stegosaurus. wonder if this is the one we blinded earlier. The Bigosaurus. The Bigosaurus. Now I can switch to the Stegosaurus. Which is pretty cool. Take these guys down. Cool. Alright. Now the Stegosaurus is a uh, playable dinosaur here. Though I do see something it looks like back in the pen here. Or the cage. We can dig in with Sarah here. Maybe get some mini kit parts or something like that. Yep, get the mini kit. So that's a second mini second mini kit of the level. We're so close to our stud goal, I'm assuming it's 65,000 since we're at 60 through uh, 64,000. Alright, so let's, uh, let's of course try to angle ourselves here. Then we can whack it with the tail. We go oh, bang. And there we go, true survivor. As we free the mini stegosaurus, which we got a picture with earlier, but of course, we didn't want that picture. Oh boy. Seems like we shut out their lights. And maybe we can shut out their generators in general. Okay, so this path is open over here now. But I don't think we can get by because we need... Or we can't do this specifically because we need someone with a specific trait there. Which we don't have anyone to do 
whatever the ability is to scare off these copies, of course. If you've seen the films, you would probably know who I'm talking about. And exactly what's used. But of course, we'll grab some more studs while we're here. We'll skip on past that. With 100% walkthrough, of course. And we'll go dig in the dino droppings in the baby stegosaurus pen. Which will give us a key. And I think I saw that we needed a key to the uh, triceratops thing here. Maybe the triceratops can help us uh, take down those generators. Okay. Nicely done. Alright, so we free the triceratops. It's captivity. Oh, seems like we got more engine guys here. Of course, the Triceratops should be able to handle very easily. We can smash out the generators here. Ba boom! Alright, so now we need to build some things with these, it seems. Maybe we can smash these up now. No, not quite. Okay. We can go ahead and build this up here. Looks like it could be like some kind of traffic light, which would be kind of weird out here. But, I guess we'll go ahead and build these anyway. Bam. Okay, now it makes sense. One might say, it'd be up and running. Black white. Should've been a hole in that tent, but okay. Nice. Holy He's got smokes. a broken leg. Let's get in the car before they hear us. Are you out of your mind? Do you have voice. any idea what that is? On, do You're not I do have an idea what that is. So I said I have an idea what that is. Alright, let's get in. I don't like the sounds of that. Oh, Eddie. Where are you going, Dad? Alright. We're gonna send her up. Why did you bring this thing home? I don't know. Well, he's very angry. <sighs> Seems so. Put the light back on. Hand it over. I don't want any trouble here. So that should make an interesting chapter in your book. Oh. Okay. Hang on to something! Hang on to something! Hang on to something? Well, I guess this rope will work. Who's hurt? What do you need? We need three double cheeseburgers with everything. No <laughs> onions on mine. I don't know if we'll turn it over. All right, let's climb the rope. Oh, let's dodge. That didn't work so well. Okay, we want to dodge to the left here. We got ourselves a mini kit. Dodge to the right. You don't want to get hit by these things. Oh, we got blue side. Oh, okay. Let's climb. Dodge. Studs, just give them to me. I like the phones ringing. Uh oh. Alright, we need the assistance of Eddie here. Which of course, we're gonna smash and bash everything else up first because... <laughs> why not? It's always our main goal. Or our second main goal. First main goal is to complete the level. Of course, we have the side goal of smash and bashing everything. It does. Until that's done, you guys are just gonna have to wait. And hope you don't fall down. I wonder if the Lego game was actually timed, so like you couldn't sit here and like smash on that. You couldn't just break everything, so it was like, they have a certain amount of time on a level like this, so it's like you actually have to hurry up and save them, or they would fall and the whole level restarts or something like that. Seems like we got a save point here. Let's go ahead and click on that. We'll go ahead and break it now. studs as we can find here before we assist uh, them down there to me it looks like there's only Ian Malcolm down there but that just could be the case of you know not trying to shove three people down there of course if you've seen the movie you would know that they all three are down there but just for the case of the Lego game I would assume they didn't want to do that because one, it'd be hard to get up, and two, save a little bit of time. But 
which I'm completely fine with that. You just have to have enough for two people to be able to play, of course. Of course, we are playing by ourselves. But that is not quite the case. I think I need a raptor to uh, smell whatever that pile is right there. That. Grab all these studs. Almost at. Uh, there we go, 90,000. So it seems like we might need to track this thing here. Let's go ahead and do that. Looks like a crank of some sort, like a thing you could attach to something. Alright. Got a couple of pieces we can build with here. Build it up, build it up, build it up. Alright, let's grab all these studs. Studs. My studs are back there. I can't grab them. Oh, seems... Okay, so we can grab the crank thingy here. And we can pull it to here. Then maybe we can pull the thingy up. Let's attach this. Ooh, looks like I might be able to get in the car. Alright, let's pull. So we want to stay in the, the light blue section, of course. That's like the main goal. Pull this thing up. Come on. I think we got it. Alright, good. We got it, so now we can switch back. Oh. And climb. Increase oh, I got dodge. Climb. Get that. Okay. Some more studs. Dodge. Alright, yeah, so we can climb a little bit faster. No, my studs. Okay, we still got a decent amount. Blue studs are really what matters. Blue studs, purple studs, those are the ones that matter. Oh, oh studs. Oh, dodge. There we go. Uh-oh, it's going again. Uh-oh. Eddie, fix Hold the on. truck quickly. Hold on. Oh god, there's compies. There's compies on me. Gotta fight these compies off real quick. Okay, thing down. Quickly repair and get in. Pull this thing up, Eddie. We don't want to lose our friends now. Mom, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, nice. Okay, let's switch back. Oh, dodge! Keep climbing, Ian. Keep climbing. Oh, that's that's dirty. No, no, not Enrique, it's Ian. <laughs> not Enrique, it's Ian. Oh. Okay. Come on, almost there. Uh oh. Run, Eddie. Teddy bear. Our communication equipment's been of destroyed. Course. Back We're off. stuck here, ladies and gentlemen, and stuck together thanks to you people. At least we came prepared. There's a communication center here, in the old operations building. If we can get here, we can send a radio call for the airlift. And uh, maybe we should do that. Alright, engine arrival, level complete, free play is also unlocked, adding 95,000 to our stud total, which would take us up to, let's see, 759,230, of course got true survivor rank, that's pretty cool, I think we got two mini kits, Oh, we actually got three mini kits. That's not too bad. We unlock AJ Sidhu. Along with Didier Bowman to purchase. The Engine Scout to also purchase. Peter Ludlow Isla Sorna to also purchase. Kathy Bowman. Purchase as well. We are slowly but steadily unlocking characters. Now we got the Hunter Scout unlock to purchase. Along with the Hunter Snare ATV to be purchased. We did not get the Amber, but we do get a break for True Survivor. 
and of course level complete and now that completes level two let's continue the story and move on to level three which should be the final level of the stream which is pretty cool all right so we got a couple new characters here so now we've got kelly malcolm which is ian's daughter we've got robert burke and we've got ronald tempo now we can head on down here Seems ronald here has got a rifle just like eddie which i don't know where eddie went he might have got lost or died we we did see him run uh, he could be dead for all we know hey, someone. These little green things have got me one that's I lba material and two we can't even help him heart. out there so it seems like we're gonna need to go through here so we're gonna need some kind of uh, character or something to get us through that Okay, so Robert Burke here can build dinosaur bones, so that's our second character we can build dinosaur bones. Now we have Alan Grant, and of course, Robert Burke. So that's pretty cool. Now, if we, uh, what do we do here? I believe we, we put someone here, and then we have another character who can, of course, bounce that character up here. And we got a mushroom. Oh, we need to help the trike over here. Okay. Triceratops. So, Sarah. Can you jump on in the poop here? Get us exactly what we need, because it seems like we're going to need a mushroom. Alright, well, now we're going to need a Robert. Because I'm assuming Robert Burke could probably track this, because he's got a rifle. All riflemen seem to be able to track this. Or, not Robert Burke, uh, Ronald Tempo. Drop the mushroom. Let me switch to a character real quick. Pick up that mushroom so we don't lose it. Alrighty, so if we follow the trail, of course, lead us probably to something that could show us the dino droppings. Okay, so we get the banana from this. We got the banana, and then we also have the mushroom. Kelly, if you can give him the mushroom, then we just need to get the ice cream, which I'm assuming might be in that cave over there. With Nick, can you quickly uh, pry this open, please? Uh, there we go. And then if we remember, Ian Malcolm has the flare. I'm assuming he got from Jurassic Park. And he can of course go through here and grab the ice cream. Still don't know why dinosaurs want ice cream. Banana, mushroom kind of makes sense, but ice cream. Don't quite know. But we'll go ahead and head over here and give the Triceratops the ice cream. And that will uh, put 1 out of 10... And we get a gold brick for that. For I think it's helping like six dinosaurs all throughout the uh, worlds. The hub worlds. So that's one out of ten of those. Sadly that would be something we would want to do in LBA. But of course we had to do it to get past the uh, objective here. Seems Triceratops can't move forward from there. Let's go ahead and push to Ian. He should be able to lead us on down the path here. To what seemed to be maybe the third and final level of the stream here. And then next week we'll end up doing the last two levels. First off, I won't, and second off, I don't think I even can help you. So, Nick, would you please take a crowbar? Do this quickly. Well, Burke is on our squad, Robert Burke. So. Alright, so now we can jump all down here. Smash this through. And Just isn't have, a like, proper a campfire without right here. S'mores. I, I agree. Right Alright, so there's a map thing. But here we go. It's the third level. You which want is to learn named new, huh? The Hunted. And I'm happy to help. Alright, Mr. DNA, what do you want me to say? Dilophosaurus gets its name from the too thin crest of bone on the top of its head. Interesting fact. We are an hour and four minutes of the stream, so it's not too bad. This one might be a little bit longer than other ones have been. So, go ahead and get the started. The building is right down in there. About a mile and a half from the base of these cliffs. We'll let them sleep one more hour. Alright. Oh no. Eat food, eat food, quickly. You know what the dinosaur is. 
you know what that silhouette is, let me know quickly. In the comments. I don't even know what it is now. Shh. Give it all the food. Don't run! They ain't gonna listen to T-Rex. Yeah, and we're running. Alright. Looks like we got a little chase scene. Like the one in Jurassic Park with the, uh... The, um... Jurassic Park responder or whatever. We had to run up the T-Rex, so now we got another T-Rex chase scene here. Got as many studs as possible if we can. Okay. These blue studs are going to be very valuable. I'm trying to kind of follow the trail of them. It's going to be what we're going to get most of our studs from right now. I think they're trying to shoot back there and they're dying. So that's, I guess they're bald. Never mind. Okay. We're getting a good amount of studs here. Mini kit on that side. We'll come back to that, I guess, in the 100% walkthrough. Eh, maybe you'll wake up in a minute. Maybe. Just keep running for our dear life here. Oh boy. Seems like there's only a couple of characters left here. Oh, there's a mini kit. Go to the waterfall, quick. Make everyone safe. No, well, not everyone's safe. Go get him. It's coming back! Nope, it's just Ian. Ooh. There you go. Alright. Not into the land grass! Some people were able to escape it seems. Practice. Played soccer before. If you're from what is it? Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry if I'm doing this. I think it's RJ's back. I was gonna say if you're from England or UK or wherever, I I don't want to be rude, but I'll just say if you're from a certain spot, whatever place that is, I don't know honestly. Um, it's called football. <laughs> I shouldn't have I shouldn't have brought that up, but I just kept in my American language. I'm assuming we can't track this because we don't have anybody on the squad to track this course. We don't have any of the three characters. Well, we can smash Bash as our stud goal is already almost halfway just from that one chase scene. Shit. Isn't that what he said? Did he say sit out of the long grass? Hold on. Come on, sir, me. Alright. Come on, sir. Come on. Get out of there. I'll save you. Thank you. Alright, we gotta save five of those guys for, I'm assuming, what it could be a mini kit or an amber or something like that. Of course, we need to stay off the long grass, because that's how you're gonna get hunted by raptors. Oh, they seem like they got you. Feed the compies, fight the compies, hunt the compies. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Smash and bash course to get as many as possible right now. Seems like we're blocked from going that way. But maybe Sarah will be able to help us out here. Alright, diving in the poop. And grabbing something that can help us. Or just some pieces. Works fine with me. Seems to have crossed a little bit over the halfway point. Stud goal now. Hey, we made a lawnmower. Cut the grass. Okay, just maybe distract a velociraptor. So we're gonna kind of run by, I guess. He's jumping up and down there. But he seems to have almost got the halfway point, something like that. So there seems to be a mini kit back there, but I'm assuming the only way we'd be able to get it is if we did something with digging here, which of course we don't have anyone with a shovel. The raptor. Can we cross through here? 
we can, but we need that uh, character with the thing to distract or get the compies away from it. Or the mini kit right there. Alright, let's grab all these studs. Oh boy! Just like Jurassic Park all over again. Fight back, fight back, fight back, fight back. Ooh! Nice. Alright. Playing as Sarah for a little bit. We'll switch it up. Play as Nick for a little bit. We've been playing as Sarah for a little while. Let's be able to hit that spider back there. Although I wouldn't see very much of a reason to. Microplay is just the right person to get by here. Nick, would you please get this open? Alright. Uh, nice. I see a blue stud or something. Right there. Glad they take that. And all these such Oh, there's a raptor. Yep. Oh, the Lophosaurus is here now, apparently. Would have been helpful in that last level. We were able to play as one of the other so you could spit. Use the spit. Be nice. Looks like there's another person over there. Hope he doesn't get eaten. Oh, that's not funny! I really thought it was a raptor! Let's go! Oh, that's messed up. Okay, so Could of course, female assistance? agile characters can slide under some pink and blue agility objects by pressing X while running towards them. Well, most of, the, most of these agile characters are going to be female characters. So. Oh, fight off the compies, fight off the compies. There are those compies on you. Sorry, Sarah. I mean, uh, wombo combo you there. And smash and bash all this stuff though. Assuming this will do something to help the other guys get across here. Seem to be so. We can twist this. That's gonna raise it up. So these guys can now officially come over to this area. A lot of studs are just splattered everywhere. I try to collect as many of those as possible. quite hit true survivor just yet very close I'm assuming maybe 45,000 500 50,000 almost said 500,000 like, nope that happened I'm assuming like 45 50,000 uh, so you might want to run there's a raptor you seen a backpack or you seen a person Alright, so let's do this real quick. Get Nick to pry that open. Not too shabby. Gonna distract the raptor. Get rid of the copies there. Awesome size. Get some more studs there. Let's see if it was 45,000. Can't grow this. Because we don't have a character who can grow that right now. But we can use our camera over here to save this person. Let's take a picture. A couple pictures, it seems. Right, so we kind of stunned him. That's gonna, I guess, make him run away. So that's two out of the five people we need to save here. Oh, that person got taken down by Raptor. This was the worst idea ever. You're telling me my hay fever is acting up a storm. I think it's a little bit more than hay fever. Be more worried about the fact that they told you not to go into the tall grass and you went in there anyway. That's what you should be worried about. Alright, let's see if we can do something over here maybe to distract these guys, Sarah. And come on over. I need you to dive in some poop. Maybe you can distract these raptors. Get them away from here. There's a lot of stuff there. Let's build something up here. Ice cream truck. I get the raptors out of here. Save these guys, maybe. Nice. Oh wow! I owe you my life. Can I give you ten bucks right, So that's four out of five people saved. Maybe one more person saved there. All right. Some more studs. Oh god. 
Play for our life. Beat him up. Alright, there we go. And so one person we really haven't played as will be Ian Malcolm. So let's play as Ian a little bit. I mean, he is kind of one of the main highlights of this movie. So let's play as Ian, I guess, a little bit. Him some spotlight. I got a lot of the uh, new characters since Ian was already in Jurassic Park. But of course, he's like one of the main highlights of the movie. So why wouldn't we want to play as Mystic Ian Malcolm? Got a lot of studs here. Oh, is this a route I can go through? Or... No. Okay, let's block it. It looks like there's a route or something. Like that. Okay, we need Velociraptor to track that. Which we don't quite have a Velociraptor to use. There's a lot of Velociraptors around. We can't quite use any of them. Alrighty. Looking fantastic here. Right off the Velociraptor here. What's that guy getting in our plans here? That's all this. And once we're done with this, of course, I'll be able to hopefully move. I feel like I need to distract that wrapper. Of course, we don't have anything to break that over there. The only character we know can break those vines would be Alan Grant with his raptor claw. Oh, we got a comment. Cool. What is that supposed to mean? Does it mean cool? Is that what are you trying to say, sir? I don't want to even pronounce your name, because I know I'm going to get it wrong. <laughs> but if you're trying to say cool, then cool. Let's go ahead and break this glass. That might not be the best idea. I don't know how the raptor did just come running over here. He might now. It looks like there's a tasty burger. Track this guy. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, so now we should be able to move uh, ahead a little bit. While this guy is distracted, I'm trying to eat a burger that's not really real. So let's we break this. No. Okay, let's move on ahead. Here is the remains of the ice cream truck. Uh, the ice cream truck that we made. Uh oh. Wall mower's still going. Now it's chasing him. Instead of the raptor chasing the wall mower, the wall mower's chasing the raptor now. There's hair in my face. Oh! Seems like there might be the last guy we need to save right there. We need either Nick Van Owen or Sarah Harding here. We got Nick. Save him out. Nice picture. That's what they so called don't want here. Nice. And that gives us the amber. Okay, that's quite cool. Right, let's, go. let's 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 get out of here. They said the communication center is in the operations building. So I'll just I'll get in there and I'll send the radio call, all right? I'll see you there. Every second counts. Anyone thinks they can keep up? Welcome to try. Alright, so there's the hunted completed level complete free play unlocked, of course. At 65,000 something studs to our total. Which our new total will be 837,550. Of course, did get our true survivor rank, so that's pretty sweet. That we always aim for. I think we got two or three mini kits. Nope, just one. Found me. Nice right, so we unlocked Carter. Uh, Robert Burke, which is probably dead now. Uh, we got the engine, engine mechanic unlocked by, along with Peter Ludlow unlocked by. That was pretty nice. We got the Hunter Snagger unlocked to purchase, along with the Hunter Harasser. So that's some more vehicles unlocked. We got the 
Parasaurus Wampus as our airbird. I'm sorry if I butcher that. Getting a lot of dinosaurs there. Made a brick for a true survivor, and of course, level completion. And we'll click continue story, see what it takes us if we get a cutscene. Do you get any cutscenes? No cutscenes? Well, that is going to be it for us today, guys. For the Lego Jurassic World uh, playthrough for Jurassic Park The Lost World. We did the first three levels, and then tune in next week on Wednesday for level four and five, of course. And then the week after that, we'll be starting Jurassic Park 3, which should be pretty sweet. Of course, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to uh, drop a like, uh, drop a comment, what you would like to see. Once again, about the question I had said in the uh, beginning, I'll go ahead and repeat that question, which was, do you want to see, after Lego Jurassic World, do you want to see us return to The Hobbit for an LBA? Or like a LBA stream or would you like to see us just continue on with another Lego game please drop that in the comments if you're watching this video because I'm about to end the uh, stream of course so I thank you all for watching and I will presumably see you all tomorrow with a new Lego Ninjago Ninjoids video and then I'll actually see you on Friday with Red Dead Chapter 2 who knows if we'll complete Red Dead Chapter 2 or not but goodbye guys